Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. So, last week you seen the cleanup of the Epic Fail. Um, I, obviously, I'm doing all these videos in the same day, but uh, I'm starting this one out. The old mole, or excuse me, the old block with the Spanish moss is outside right now in the sun, and I can tell you right now for a fact that the pewter gray did not cure in that batch for some reason. So what we're going to do is, there's the six by six by one mold again, and uh, I am going to go grab some Spanish moss. We're going to put some Spanish moss in here, and I'll mix up some resin, and we'll get that poured. Hey guys, so, okay, got some more of the Spanish moss out, and if you remember last time we messed with this, it took me forever to rip this stuff apart and get it to where it would go in here. So, I am, you get to see me do it again. Alright guys, so now that I got this in the mold, fill some of it in with some. I'm going to grab some boxing tape, put over it like I did last time to hold the moss down. Hey guys, so I still got some of this alumilite I want to use up. But now that I got this tape down, I'll go ahead and mix up a big batch. Because I got, like I said, some other stuff I'm pouring here as well. And uh, we'll come back and I'll go over the colors. And we'll go ahead and get to pouring. Alright everybody, so I have no idea if I have enough stuff mixed up here or not. Uh, this is just all the stuff that's left over from what I've just poured. So we've got some pearl white from Caster's Choice. We got deep blue sea from uh, uh, Black Diamond. This is pearl black, and it is from it's these guys. Now I know some of you may have seen the little thing pop up. For epoxy and everything saying 50% off 70% off well I rolled the dice and I ordered some of the pigment that they had on their website so this is me trying that out this is some uh, some of the emerald from the same company as well as some glow-in-the-dark powder from uh, Timu and we're going back to the hot pink that I was using that I got off of eBay from the guy who was doing it for uh, uh, fishing lures. So, <coughs> hopefully we got, <coughs> excuse me everybody, hopefully we got enough uh, resin mixed up here to do this. Alright everybody, now that I got this all mixed up, or poured, we'll get this put in a pressure pot and I'll come back when it cures up and comes out. Hey everybody, so I was able to get this out of the mold and we're going to cut it into about one inch blanks. And uh, I got the table saw out, I know most people use the bandsaw to cut up blanks like this, but my bandsaw needs a little bit of work right now, I need new belts, so that'll probably be a later on video where I'm actually doing some bandsaw maintenance but uh yeah so i got my uh table saw out i'm gonna cut this up and when i'm done we'll come back hey everybody so the colors didn't quite blend like i wanted them to they did on the bottom it looks like but the rest of it kind of like just mixed so to speak um i need to like wipe this down with denatured alcohol and see what it actually looks like where the cuts are but uh yeah, so I got about four one-inch blanks off of that, which I thought I'd get more than that, but my uh, table saw tends to move while I'm cutting sometimes. Hey everybody, so I am going to cut this one down, get it drilled. We are going to set it up for a commander rollerball. 
Now the commander pin kits you can get easily from uh, I believe it's wood turnings. I'll put a I'll put a uh, link in the description below. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing uh, cut, drilled, and prepped, and we'll come back when it's ready to turn. Two thousand years later. Hey guys, so sorry about that. Um, it's been a couple weeks since I've done the Spanish moss pour, and I did have these drilled, tubes glued in, and everything else like that. But everything that's been going on lately, um, I'm sure you guys seen in my last video. I had a family uh, family member pass, and um, just took me a while to get to where I even wanted to come back out here into the garage. To be honest with you. Uh, that and I lost my bushings for the Commander Pin Kit. Now, I only have a couple of these kits left. Uh, I've got this one, which is the rollerball. I have a fountain pen, I believe. And then I've got a couple other kits that use these bushings as well. So instead of just buying a new set for the few that I'm going to be turning here soon, I decided to 3D print some. So these are the 12 and a half millimeter and that's going to be for the cap and I already have the 10 and a half millimeter on the lathe itself so uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, let me grab my mask and we'll get started all right guys you're a little bit closer than what you normally are so hopefully this uh, hopefully this works All right, everybody, let me get cleaned up here. Um, I am probably going to do a thin coat of CA on here before I start sanding. But let me get cleaned up first, and we'll go from there. Hey, everybody, so uh, I usually don't do a CA finish, but I will do a CA coat before I sand. Now the reason why I do this is because um, it seals up any little pits that you may have in here in your uh, pen blank and you can still get a nice shine after the fact. Now today we're going to be using Starbonds Heavy Thin. Um, usually I use the stuff from Hobby Lobby because I mean it's just a thin coat and it doesn't really matter what kind of CA you use for this since it's not a finish, but uh, there we go. Now, I don't have any of the Starbond accelerant, some Bob Smith Industries Instaset. And since I'm just waiting for this to uh, dry. get that sprayed on there. I'll turn this on here in a second and let it spin dry and uh, I'll come back and we'll start sanding after it dries. Alright everybody now that that's dried we're going to go ahead and start sanding and we're going to sand up to about 600. I'm only going to show you the first grit of me sanding and then I'll do the rest off camera. Now I'll do the rest of this off camera. All right, everybody. Normally, I'll do a uh, I'll wet sand this all the way up, but I'm gonna try something different on this one first. If it doesn't work, we'll go back, resand it, and uh, then I'll go back and wet sand it. But uh, I'm gonna do some Myelin sanding sealer on here first. Now we're gonna take down some of the uh, high points of this polish or the uh, sanding sealer down with a uh, scotch brite pad. All right, guys, we're gonna move on to some Yorkshire grit. However, this is the micro fine. I broke the cap to this a while back, so uh, I, whenever I finished off the regular, I started using that for the cap to this one.
All right, guys. I'm starting to get low on some OB Shine juice, so I may actually do a video of me making some of this here soon. But put a little bit of that on here. All right, you guys. Just so you know, the bushings on the uh, bottom held up pretty well. So I'm looking forward to giving this, uh, giving the uh, top a try and seeing how it how it goes. But uh, I got the cap on here now, so let's get to turning. Guys, I've been talking too much on here, so I cut a bunch of this out. But what I'm probably going to do is I got to touch this end up a little bit here. But uh, I'm going to probably sand this down a little bit before I do the CA glue. Then I'll do the CA and then I'll come back and I'll re-sand it. And then I'll probably wet sand it after that. So if I end up doing that, I'm going to end up having to redo this one and wet sand it as well. I don't want one side of the pen looking different than the other. But let me go ahead and uh, get cleaned up over here and we'll move on. All right, everybody, so we're going to start off sanding. I'm only going to show you the first grit, and then I'll go up to about 600. All right, guys, so we're going to go back and do some uh, Starbond Heavy Thin. All right, we're going to go ahead and let this dry, and then whenever we come back, we're going to uh, um, start wet sanding. All right, everybody, so my... Uh, Micro mesh is starting to get wore out a little bit, so I'm gonna to need to get some new micro mesh here soon. But I'm gonna go. I'm gonna only do the first one on here. I'm gonna go through all of them, and then I'll come back whenever I start off with the zona paper. All right, guys, and I'll be back whenever I finish with the uh, micro mesh. All right, guys, now we're up to the zona paper. Um, I almost need to swap this out as well, so. Alright, I'll be back as soon as I finish. Alright, so this looks kind of dull right now. So I'm going to put some uh, OB Shine juice on it. This thing has much nicer shine on it to me than the bottom did. So definitely going to go back through. I'm not going to do this on camera, but I'll go back through. I'll sand it and do the same steps I did with the cap and I'll come back whenever I'm finished with that. Guys, I don't know what just happened, but uh, anyway, I got a nice shine on both the cap and the bottom, and uh, I was just saying, I am not 100% happy. I love the way the resin looks, don't get me wrong. Resin looks fine, but I'm not 100% happy with the way the uh, Spanish moss mixed in with it. I may try doing a, another project with it, uh, maybe with a bowl, doing clear instead of some colored uh, um, resin over it. But uh, let me go ahead and uh, get my kit together and we'll go ahead and get this pressed and we'll move on from there. All right, everybody, so again, this is the Commander Rollerball. You can get this pin kit at woodturnings.com. I'll put the link and everything in the description below. Definitely going to polish the bottom up again. Alright guys, there you go. Um, I'm going to throw a little bit more OB Shine juice on there and see if I can't get a good shine on here again. But uh, as I say in all my videos, I'm not sponsored by any of the products I use. These are just products I picked up along the way. Um, so I will have links in the description below to uh, excuse me, everything I have used, I believe, in here. Um, and uh, 
yeah so sticker board inductees I said this last week if you watch the entire video I have this one was one that has been on here before or been on here for a while it's Jenna over at Epoxy Me Crazy she's the one that introduced me to eye candy's pigment and because eye candy's or I got the eye candy sticker and a super clear uh, epoxy resin systems sticker from uh, last week I went ahead and added both of those to the sticker board now I do have another one of these which is going to go on the pressure pot um, I said last week I'm debating on going to patreon I've said that a couple of times already otherwise you can buy me a cup of coffee um, I'm looking for inputs to last week's video I've got different levels to where if you want to contribute to the channel and you give X amount you get this X amount you get this and I'm trying to make it up to where it's beneficial for both people who do wood turning as well as people who don't do wood turning so if you want to go back and watch the video last week's video and comment on it I'd greatly appreciate it um, otherwise uh, if you watched the video this far and you like what you saw if you didn't like what you saw uh, comment on the video share the video if you comment on it tell me what you think tell me if uh, you think this thing turned out nice or you know I mean, like I said I like the color but I'm not happy with the um, Spanish moss it just doesn't it it doesn't pop like uh, like um, cactus does so that's kind of where, what I was hoping for was that this would pop a little more than what it does um, tell me if you've used Spanish moss in any of your uh, casting or uh, turning videos again guys I'm up to I think 226 subscribers if I reach the 500 I will turn a pin and give, do a giveaway on that uh, on that video on that week's video if you like what you saw uh, hit that bell down or hit the subscribe button over on the other side hit the bell click on all and YouTube will let you know anytime I post a new video um, and for those of you who have already subscribed thank you I appreciate it immensely and uh, I'll get some pictures of this up at the end after I get it all repolished and everything I do appreciate everyone who has subscribed and everyone who continues to watch my channel thank you and uh, have a good one